Welcome back everyone to a brand new video. Um my mic's loose. I have just started and almost basically started. Went to get the wheel nut to undo my wheels because by the way we're painting the calipers tonight tonight on the BMW. And I was shit like shit, I don't have the wheel lock like the locking key. I was like, this looks a lot like the one off my fiesta. So I go out this, I go in there to get the key for these wheel nuts. Because they're just off of eBay. And then, what do you have it? It's the exact same ones, the exact same fitment. So that was extremely lucky. I found a bubble. I need to pop that. But yeah, that was very, very lucky because I almost just completely screwed up and I would never have had a lock and key for this. So thank God I had that. But yeah, I'm going to get the, the rears are on drums. I don't think I'm going to do them today. But with drums, I don't think there's much point in painting them a colour. So I'm just going to paint them black, like I've just got kind of satin black, I'm going to spray with them, but I'll do that whenever I get them wheels off, because I'm getting 16 inches for the rear, because 17 is too big. But yeah, I'm going to get these wheels off, put an axle stance, and then I'll show you the process and everything that I've got to paint the brake calipers. I think I spent about 20, 25 quid. Um, I did buy large bottles of stuff, apart from the paint for the extra calipers, which probably the one I should have put the most of, but I didn't. My bad. Um, so yeah, this should be good. I might have to move the Fiesta to move this more in line as well. It sounded good, it sounded real good if you could hear that. But yeah, let's get this sorted. Um, move the cars around and we'll get this bad boy up on axle stands. Hopefully it doesn't go through the car because I'm scared jacking this car up and stuff like that. I'm gonna put a bit of block of wood on it and go from the jacking point, but I don't wanna put the axle stands in the wrong place and then it all goes wrong. Anyway, to find out in the woods. Let's get this sorted. BM is now actually straight, sort of. Um, gonna jack it up now. Break the nuts first. I don't know how tight they are. I think there's like six or five or six studs pattern on this one. Instead of usually I only got four on my Fiesta, which is nice. But yeah, um, let's break these nuts. <laughs> I've got a feeling it's going to be very dark by the time I finish painting this. Now I've got to try and go gym afterwards. I don't think it's going to go well. Let's just start. That's that's all I can do. Just start. Okay, so jacking it up was a complete pain in the ass. As I didn't show you, it was just a nightmare. Driving on blocks and blocks on your own is not fun. Anyway, I haven't driven this car in about five days since the detail. So yeah, the discs are like that. Discs are dead anyway, like there's nothing left, neither the pads. And I'm getting coilovers. Hopefully this weekend I'm ordering them. Cause that is dirty, but yeah. These calipers are dead, like. They need some loving and life and affection put back into them, and that's what we're going to do. So, I just ain't too bad. So, what we're going to do is, I'll show you what I've got to work with and get going. Might have to rush this a bit because it's getting dark. But I mean, the benefit is I've got the Fiesta now, so I can leave this overnight on axle sounds. I think I'll nix it, but like, it doesn't have to be all set up, ready, and talked, ready for me to drive to work in the morning because I've got that. If you can see it. So, that's the benefit of this but yeah I'll show you what we're working with okay so basically going for the Halford bad boy starter kit so we've got well I found this I've had this years brake cleaner just to loosen the dirt off with some gloves so we don't get our mitts all dirty like now we got some steel wool because we need to etch them bad boys up first we've got some white primer then this is a bit crazy we've got glow in the dark paint in blue um, I did put a poll up, like a question thing, on my channel, so people could like sort of see what colours, and they were pretty crazy. And I just thought I saw what was in half was like glow in the dark, buying that, and blue was the only colour they had, so we went for blue. So yeah, glow in the dark blue because we're bad boy. And then we've got this black I've had for a year in my room. It's a bit bad, probably gone off, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. 
yeah I bought white primer instead of grey because glow in the dark one recommends to use the white primer so now we're just going to spray the brakes up scotch up with the wall um, usually you would mask off everywhere you're going to paint but as this is like an old BMW um, there's not much point in me doing that to be honest with you like I don't care if the paint gets in the tire wells, don't care if it gets on the discs because the discs get replaced at the weekend I'm changing them. I probably won't drive this until I put new discs and pads on anyway, so if I do get painted discs, it's not like oh my god he's gonna drive paint on discs. No I'm not. I'm getting it at the weekend, I probably won't drive this till they're fitted anyway. So I don't care about masking. But if you do want to mask it, um Evan Beckerman done a video on the throttle channel, like in America, sick guy. Um he cuts a bin liner and then wraps it round the caliper so that's all you can spray which is a very good idea so if you're going to do that check out that video I'll leave a link down below in case you're interested in seeing it but yeah um, he did that very well he's a smart man so I'm not going to bother because I don't really care anyway let's get to it Okay, so um, as you see, I just pretty much scratched up with the steel wall and then got the remaining bits of steel wall off. I mean, these aren't going to look perfect. They're full like my project drift car. They just need to look blue. No one's going to look up close to them. Obviously, if you're doing like, a very special car, then take more time on it. But I just want to give them a light scotch up before I put the primer over it. So I need to start the other wheel. But before I do that, I'm just going to put a light dusting coat of primer over these. And then I'll do three coats of primer, I'll do a light dust, more dust, and then I'll make sure they're fully covered, and then we can get to the painting side of things. Okay, so I've been shaking this for a couple minutes now. Seems alright, my mount's loose, always loose, that's why I always so shaky. But yeah, now I'm just going to do a light dust coat on the caliper, and then I'll get to the other side. But I'll just show you this side, and then I'll showing you both. I'll show you both the final outcome, but yeah, let's get started on this one. So we're just going to do a light dust coat in the white primer, do about three layers of this. Like I said, gonna leave that one now. I'll show you the next coats whilst I start that one, and I'll catch up with you when that side is off and prepped, and that side is ready for another layer of coat. I think it's about 10 minutes in between coatings, depending on how fit they are, and obviously, and obviously taking into the fact that the weather and that it's not that hot, so. About 10 minutes, I'll do another coat, another coat, and then we'll get to the good stuff, which is the blue. But yeah, I'm gonna get this side ready, and I'll just, I'll just leave a time lapse on for you boys. For the boys. Okay, so like I said, that one is now prepped. So we're going to go apply layer 2 of the lacquer, not the lacquer, sorry, the white primer onto this carrier. And then we'll go to the other one, back and forth. Good stuff. <laughs> layer 2 complete. Um, you, can, you can see the rust on them, these are rusty. I probably should just get new calipers, I will eventually, and then go the process through like a paint shop, but um, just for now from distance these are looking to be quite good. Um, about to start the other side, but like I said I'm not going to bother showing you the other side. So this is for now, and I'll catch up with you when we get to the third layer, which is, this is basically almost fully coated, just one more big coat and then we can get to the blue stuff. But progress is being made and that's all that matters, so catch up with you boys and girls, not sexist, in a bit. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes, that's now touch dry, so that's ready for its last final coat. Um, just seen that resin last shot. My car's not resting on this wheel, it looks like it, but, like, can you see? It's, it's actually not, it's like hair thin. I just put it there just in case something falls. It will land on that and not on me. Just an idea, like, just so you don't know, it's not jammed underneath there, like, the car's sitting on it, it's not resting on it at all. It just looks like it, it's very close. But, um, yeah, time for the third and final coat. And then we can get to the good stuff. I'm excited to see because I don't. It's not obviously not glow in the dark, even though it's a glow in the dark paint. But it must have some sort of shine or glow to it for it to be called glow in the dark. 
and be expen more expensive than a big bottle. So I better be getting my money's worth if I was gonna be so freaking pissed. So freaking pissed. Catch the meme, you love it. All right, third and final coat. Let's do this. Let's do this. By the way, Modern Warfare 2 is now backwards compatible, and I've had three nukes in one night. I am the dog's box. If you guys want to see a Modern Warfare 2 video, so low pit mystery, let me know. So as we just saw, coat 3 is now on, coat 2 is done on the other side as well. Wait for this to go touch dry, and then we can get on the blue. One thing that has upset me though is I pay like £10 for these gloves, I pull it out of the packet and I rip the thumb on it. I mean that is like 50 of them in there but that's not the point like, shouldn't be ripping on me like that, that's just nasty. But yeah, I'm waiting for that caliper to, the calipers to dry, there's a lot of primer on there at the moment so it's going to take a while and then... So let's talk about this glow in the dark paint because I didn't know this thing existed. Um, dark effect with only a short light exposure. UV light sources provide the best result. The glow can last up to six years if applied correctly. It's probably going to last about six days. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, it's the exact same as what you'd do with any other can apparently. It's just like, I think I paid like eight quid for this where it was like eight quid for that bear me over backwards or what but yeah the lacquer is just, just spray all over fuck it's lacquer but yeah um i got a feeling the wheels and aren't getting on and talk tonight because it's getting dark again already but i just want to put blue on i might put something on the floor just so i don't spray blue paint on all the concrete just in case i might just get some like news old newspaper stuff i think i'm gonna do that just so my neighbors don't rage at me anyway hopefully next time I open this camera there'll be the brake calipers will be going blue okay so it's now time to apply the blue which I got really excited about and then I test sprayed it and I thought it was gonna be like it looks like on the can a nice light baby baby blue but when I just test sprayed it on like some cardboard and that it doesn't look very nice I'm gonna be honest but I'm gonna spray it on anyway so like it if don't like it, I'll just get new calipers. And hopefully it comes out alright, but as it's just glowing and dark, I'm guessing it'll look best at night, hopefully. But we're gonna spray it on now, we ain't got much twist. Primer's dried, so let's get spraying this bad boy stuff. Remember, light, dust coat first. Hey, I'll take that back. I really like the colour of that. I think it's because I tested it on my garage wall, probably not a good idea, but it came up really dark, but I think it's because I didn't have white primer on it, where it's a dark surface, you must have to use white primer for it to activate properly, I mean that looks sick, like, it hasn't, it's only a light coat, but that looks fucking sick, do the other side now, and yeah, I'll show you when I get second layer, third layer, and I'm actually quite excited now, I quite like the look at this, I'm genuinely really chuffed, so yeah, let's crack on with this, I'll do the other side. And I'll show you the rest of this one when it's done. Awesome. Also, since I ripped this, not bad idea because I can use my thumb scanner on my phone so I can use it. Illuminati confirmed or what? I can't really do that now. Wait. Oh shit. Okay, so my camera itself is very bad in low light. This isn't much greater, but. I need to put the second and the third coat on still, and it's, as you can see, it's very dark. I'm really bad with the timing of the sunshine. I finish work, I work on my car. But I played a bit of COD too much. Alright, now we're going to put the second and third coat on. Also, I'm not going to show you me doing it because of how dark it is. So, yeah, that was after the first coat, as I just said. Um, now I'm going to show you after the second coat. I think I might have put too much on the other side, but yeah. Let's crack on with this and show you the second. So, hopefully, after going like that, it'll be second. And boom, there's the second coat. Um, that one went a bit runny because it wasn't coming out properly, so I started going a bit ham with it, and yeah, I put way too much on. But that's going to have to do. <laughs> Looking good, though. From distance, it'll look fine. Anyway, I'll catch you up when I'm on to the third. Okay, so I ran out of paint, so I'm going to have to finish that one off tomorrow. Um, I'll go Halfords after work. The glow in the dark does work, which is sick. So I'll buy another can of that. 
and spray the last coat or another two coats on tomorrow and then lacquer it, which is annoying because I've got to leave my car floating off night, so hopefully no one comes nicks my car or like jacks it up, kicks them out, and then leaves it on the floor. That'd be shit. But yeah, it does actually glow. It looks like a camo of like Call of Duty zombies where it's like when you pack a punch, that's what it looks like. True story, bro. But yeah, um, I'll catch you tomorrow when I really pick up the camera. We're back on a brand new day. Um, I had a quite a touch getting the second can because someone had already sprayed it and broke the lid in Halfords. They was like, this is the last one we got, mate. You can have half price. So that was lucky because it was saying on the website they didn't have any in stock. So thank you very much to them. I'm just going to do the final coats now in the lacquer room. I'm not going to show you the process anymore because there's just no point. It's just mind numbing. So I'm literally going to spray them up, lacquer them, show you the end result, and show you what we're working with. So yeah, keep applying this. And that night, it does actually work. I was very impressed. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. But I'll leave the camera and show you the end result because you're probably getting fed up and watching them keep being resprayed badly. So I'm just going to crack on with it. Okay, so I've gone through both of these cans now, so I've got nothing left, so I was just waiting for the lacquer now. So I'll just show you roughly what they look like. Boom! They look bad, boy. Remember, changing these, probably gonna rip that off, ordering new ones of these anyway. So yeah, that looks cool. Get around to this one. And boom! I think it looks pretty sick. Um, the one thing is that it isn't heat paint, so chance of us melting is quite high if they get hot enough, but. I can't see them getting very hot because the hydro, if I hydro it, it's going to be the rear brakes anyway. And if I get a hydro fitted, I'm only ever going to use the rear brakes. But yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll, sh I'll show you when I put the lacquer on after that and then I'll wrap up the video. But I feel like the little touch like this really helped the car. I just found out I'd take the front grill out as well and it's like a silvery grey with a other stone chip, so thinking of just painting that in a black gloss. I don't know. Black gloss you can't really go wrong with. Um so yeah, show you when that's done. Jesus look at that look, just sprinkle that salt on that steak. Ooh, ooh. Jesus, ooh, just sprinkling that salt. Ooh, ooh. So there we have it, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. They are now, they've had two coats of lacquer. They're all good. I'm really happy how they come out. Like, they're not gonna look perfect because of how old they are, they've got rust and shit on them. If I needed to do it properly, then I'd just bought brand new calipers straight away. But I think when the wheel's on, it's gonna look sick. I'll put the wheels on now, but I need to change this and pads tomorrow. So I think I'm just gonna leave it like this for another night. And then get to work tomorrow morning. I am going to order some coilovers tonight as well. So this car is coming together very nicely. I hope you're all liking it. Um, the thing I like about it is that colour looks like a nitrous blue in the daylight, which is my favourite blue. And at night time, it glows up. And I'm really excited to see how it glows up with the um, fully painted now. But yeah, all in all, I think they came out really well. Like I said, when it was gone, it will look a lot better as well. But uh, yeah. But this roughly cost me all in about £25, I'd say. It's just I had to buy two cans of that small glow in the dark paint, which ain't cheap, and they didn't do an extra bowl. But if you still don't do a glow in the dark, you'll save money and get a bigger can. Um, but I thought I'd just do something a bit more unique and different because I've never seen anyone do it before, so I think that's pretty cool. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Let me know what you think I should do next. Um, I'm feeling like every single time, like say I get um, like a wired angle kit, I'll get that in blue. If I get roll bars, strap bars, I'll do everything like blue that's after market going on as a car or um, if when I put it, I basically I wanna restore the car whilst modifying it so I want, you've seen underneath, it's rusty I wanna make it a clean looking and just really nice drift car style um, so yeah, let me know what you think I should do next but I'm not gonna carry this on for any more because this is probably gonna be quite a long video I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, comment down below what you think I should do next. And uh, massive thank you to all the support we been getting with the t-shirt sales and the sticker sales. That's awesome. Smash you smash, sorry, smash the subscribe button down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.